Hello everyone, welcome back to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, make sure to hit the subscription button below and also click the notification icon to get the updates. So we have initiated with a new NFPA training series, NFPA 72, which is the standard for fire alarm systems. Fire alarm systems plays a crucial role in safeguarding buildings and their occupants. They help detect fires early and quickly respond to emergencies. By detecting threats promptly, these systems help minimize property damage and protect lives. In this session, we are going to cover basically three topics. Number one, related to NFPA 72. Number two, why we require a fire alarm system in our buildings. Number three, we are going to explore various components and essential functions of fire alarm systems. NFPA 72 outlines the requirements for the installation, testing and maintenance of fire alarm systems, supervision station alarm systems, public emergency alarm notification system, fire and carbon monoxide detection, warning equipments and emergency equipment systems and their components. However, our focus in this NFPA 72 series will be related to the fire alarm systems. So everyone gets into their mind why we require fire alarm system. What is the purpose of this fire alarm system? Why we need to use in our buildings, commercial complexes, offices and plants? There are seven reasons why we need to install this fire alarm system. Number one, as you can see, in order to safeguard the building occupants and facilitate timely evacuation during a fire or emergency. Number two, in order to provide fire department with early notification about a fire in a building and to direct them to the precise location. Number three, in order to mitigate property loss by detecting fires quickly, meeting insurance requirements and safeguarding valuable assets. Number four, it prevents extensive building damage by alerting authorities swiftly, especially during unoccupied periods of structural vulnerabilities. Fifth reason would be to limit the amount of business loss or financial losses associated with fire incidents. Sixth reason is to keep everyone safe, especially when they are in unfamiliar places. The most important reason will be the seventh one and this is installed because of the mandatory requirement by the building codes. What is fire alarm system? Fire alarm system typically consists of fire alarm panel, detector, manual pull station and horn strobes. Basically when a detector senses smoke or heat, it sends a signal to the control panel which activates the alarms. It's important to regularly test your fire alarm system to ensure it's functioning properly. This includes testing the detectors, alarms and communication pathways. So let us discuss about the system components of the fire alarm system. The first component will be fire alarm control panel. This is a sample diagram of the fire alarm control panel. This is the brain of fire alarm and detection system. Without this fire alarm panel, we can't imagine about the fire alarm system itself. The second point will be these panels monitors all the inputs such as manual and automatic detection devices and activate the output devices such as horns, strobes, bells, warning lights, 
telephone dialers and building controls here manual and automatic detection devices refers to smoke detector heat detector and manual pull stations the output devices refers to these horns and strobes basically there are two types of fire alarm control panel number 1 conventional type fire alarm control panels number 2 addressable type fire alarm control panel so conventional type is simple in design it divides a building into broad zones so the panel has the option to select the zones inside the buildings number 3 these panels whenever a fire is detected the panel can only indicate the zone in which the fire alarm is triggered not the specific location so this is a drawback if you use conventional type fire alarm control panel if you have a small building then this would be fine otherwise if you have a large plant or large building or if you have various number of floors if you want to know the exact location where the fire has occurred or which detector has triggered then we need to go for addressable type fire alarm control panel they are more advanced and each fire alarm device component has unique address and the panel can pinpoint the exact location of the alarm apart from fire alarm control panel the most important input device is smoke detector which gives the signal to the fire alarm control panel smoke detectors or smoke alarms provide early warnings in the event of a fire which can save life and prevent property damage smoke detectors primarily respond to the presence of smoke particles or we can say smoke detectors work by sensing smoke particles in the air basically there are two types of smoke detectors number 1 ionization smoke detector and number 2 photoelectric smoke detector ionization smoke detectors are quicker to detect flaming fast moving fires photoelectric smoke detectors are better at sensing smoldering and slow burning fires third most important components are heat detectors they are designed to activate when they detect a significant increase in temperature or when the thermal energy of an area reaches a predetermined level typically indicating the presence of fire unlike smoke detectors they have different method of fire detection and they do not notice smoke basically there are two types of uh, heat detectors fixed temperature heat detectors and rate of rise heat detectors fixed temperature heat detectors triggers when the ambient temperature reaches a preset threshold usually between 57 degree centigrade to 92 degree centigrade this might vary depends upon the manufacturer technical data sheets rate of rise heat detectors detect a rapid increase in temperature typically at 6.7 degree centigrade to 8.3 degree centigrade per minute or more regardless of the starting temperature apart from smoke and heat detectors there are various types of detectors available in the market rate of compensation heat detectors beam detectors aspirating smoke detectors we call as vesda flame detectors and also linear heat detectors so fourth most important system component are manual pull stations manual fire alarm boxes or manual call points see these devices used to manually initiate a fire alarm signal in the event of a fire or other emergency it means if any person sees the fire inside a particular building or an area then he can manually initiate a fire alarm signal by pushing or pulling this manual pull station 
these devices mounted on walls in easily accessible and visible locations throughout the buildings basically as i already said when someone notices a fire or smoke they can quickly pull down on the handle or lever of the station which then triggers the fire alarm system this action sends an immediate alert to the fire alarm control panel and notify others of emergency ensuring a rapid response situation the last and most important system component are horn strobes horn strobes are the combination of both audible and visual notification devices used to alert building occupants in case of fire or other emergencies horn basically emits a loud sound to alert people of an emergency such as fire strobe light provides a visual warning which is specifically useful in noisy environments or for those who are hearing impaired you can have the combination of horn strobe or you have in the market separate horn and separate strobes as well and they are called as notification devices i hope you understand the concept of fire alarm system and their components if you are new to this channel please make sure to hit the subscription button below to gain more informative content on fire alarm and firefighting systems